When working with classes, constructors, getters and setters form a really important subtopic. Let's take a look at each one of these in the video. Every class has a default constructor built by the Java compiler. A constructor in Java is a block of code similar to a method that's called when an instance of a class is created. It is used to provide initial values for class fields when you create the object. Suppose that you have a class named dog that has fields named dog breed and dog color, you can create a constructor for the dog class as shown. Then you create an instance of the dog class by calling this constructor. There are a few key differences between a constructor and a method. A constructor doesn't have a return type. The name of the constructor must be the same as the name of the class. A constructor is called automatically when a new instance of a class is created. And a class can have multiple constructors. Moving on to getters and setters, they are the two conventional methods that are used for retrieving and updating value of class fields. The following code is an example of a simple class with a private variable and getter and setter methods. The class declares a private variable number. Since number is private, code from outside this class cannot access the variable directly. Instead, the outside code has to invoke the getter and the setter in order to read or update the variable. So a setter is a method that updates value of a variable and a getter is a method that reads value of a variable. We'll see how the use of all these make our coding work more easy and simple. Till then, keep coding.